Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson, I want to introduce you to MongoDB Aggregation Framework. It's a very great tool to make query from basic to very complex one, especially when we want to deal with data analytics. In our example, we want to get uh, the total of products sold in our app. And we want to use this project hosted in my GitHub account. With that being said, let's begin. By the way, if this is your first time to this channel, consider to subscribe without wasting time. Let's begin. Okay, aggregation operations. Aggregation operations process multiple documents and return computed results. You can use aggregation operation to book values from multiple documents together, perform operations on the graph data to return a single result, analyze data changes over time. Okay, this is very important. And secondly, aggregation pipelines. An aggregation pipeline consists of one or more stages that process documents. Okay, for example, in this example, we have one stages. You see this first object, okay, the first stage, and here the second stage. Here, what it does, okay, match, okay, it will find all documents that match this criteria. Okay, so it in this stage it filters the data. Okay, and in the second stage, okay, uh, the second stage will take the previous stage to work on. Okay, so um, we're gonna jump uh, in. Uh, I mean, uh, in the database of this project to understand better. Okay, as you can see, I'm currently logged in my MongoDB account, okay? And uh, as I've just said, I'm gonna use the database of this project. Okay, so um, we are in categories collections. Let's go to orders collection. And uh, from there, let's go to aggregation. So what is good with aggregation is that uh, we don't need to write, uh, to worry about writing the query. So it will generate for us automatically. So if uh, this is um, your first time seeing that, you're gonna see how it works. So we wanna get the total of products sold in our app. So here in aggregation, so I'm gonna add the first stage, okay? The first stage will be, uh, let's add uh, dollar sign match. Okay, we want to filter our data. And to filter, I'm gonna, as you can see, we have the preview here of our document. And uh, you see item price and tax price, but total price, the total price, we have already um, made this uh, uh, before. But uh, for now, let's keep it simple. I'm gonna use total price to get uh, the total of, I mean, of product sold, okay? It include, uh, um, tax, uh, um, etc., shipping price, etc. Okay, so here, um, let's uh, copy created at. I'm gonna filter uh, by date created at. Okay, created at uh, open curly braces your object because uh, we're gonna filter. Let's filter um, by this operator, dollar sign greater than okay greater than this date everything greater and everything after the date that we will pass will appear in the result no date okay and let's pass our date 2022 uh, dash uh, 04-02 02. okay as you can see, if the query is working, you're gonna see the preview automatically, okay? This is how you know that your query is working. Okay, after that, uh, I'm gonna add, uh, I mean, uh, 
another stage, okay, here, um, match is, uh, I mean, uh, is uh, aggregation operator. Okay, I'm gonna add another stage. Uh, let's add another aggregation operator. I'm gonna wrap, okay, here, wrap. And uh, I'm gonna pass here as ID null because I wanna have everything, okay? Uh, let's add null because I wanna return all the document in one, okay? And uh, also what is, what is interesting is that you can create also your custom field, okay? Name your field, okay? And uh, I'm gonna name it total, okay? As you can see, I don't have this field in it, in my uh, document, okay? Total price, and I'm gonna use uh, um, an operation uh, uh, operator, um, not operation, sorry. I'm gonna use uh, a query operator here. Um, I'm gonna add uh, sum, okay? Dollar sign sum, okay? And I'm gonna pass uh, here. Um, I'm gonna pass this total price, okay? But this this not the same, okay? I'm gonna pass this total price, okay? And uh, quote dollar sign and add it here. Okay, as you can see, I have the total price of a uh, product sold. Okay, now to generate, uh, I mean, the query, as you can see, so you see um, here in collation. Okay, export pipeline, you see. So export pipeline. So for example, by default, you see Python, but I'm not using Python, I'm using Node.js. And what I'm gonna do, you see, I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna go in the back end of uh, this application to show you how it works. And now in our backend API, I'm gonna create another controller. To do so, I'm gonna copy this controller, okay? And uh, here, paste, delete everything in it. Okay, and uh, this will be, uh, let's say, auto um, filling from, from date. And now what we are going to do, uh, I think, let's use uh, a wait, okay? Our model is order, okay? So uh, we're gonna use uh, order data aggregate, okay? And now we're gonna paste our, I mean, array of aggregation in it, okay? like so and after that to execute this exec okay exec will have two parameters if we have error and um total ceiling i name it uh, total ceiling like so and this is an hour function okay like so if if uh, ever, so we want to return uh, where's that status? Okay, let's say 04 and pass the JSON like so. L. Okay, and uh, if we have a uh, uh, response, we'll pass. This as a response, how we thought. Okay, total cell. And let's copy this to save some time. Okay. And this will be, um, let's pass project, total selling. And this will be a status 100. Okay. So I think that's it for this part. And now, uh, for now, 
our date is uh, hard coded, so we'll fix it soon. So we're gonna we want to test if everything is working. So let's quit the work for now. Okay. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. Okay, this will be a get route. And uh, I'm gonna remove all of these. For now, it's not protected because I'm testing. So soon I'm gonna protect it. And this will be, I mean, uh, as a name, uh, this will name other of Pluto. Okay. Now, uh, I think uh, it should be okay. Let's go. Oh, we have something. We have not imported photo ceiling. Uh, we understand that. And save. It should be okay. Okay, as you can see, everything is okay. Now, let's go testing with Postman. Okay, now in Postman, in order folder, let's create a new app. Okay, add request. This will be total, okay, total um, order, like so. This will be a get request, and HTTP, okay, um, total host colon, okay, API, forward slash, uh, uh, let me copy our Endpoint, okay, order total, okay, body, uh, row, and we wanna have JSON, okay, and now let's send the request. As you can see, guys, we have uh, uh, we have total price here, okay, so our aggregation is working, but let's do it, I um, mean, uh, more dynamic, okay, now it is static. Let's make it uh, dynamic. Okay, now in our code editor, we go back in our route. Okay, um, I'm gonna pass a parameter here, a pop slash. I mean, let's uh, a column data. Okay, a data date value. Okay, the value of the date. And now let's save. Let's go to I mean other controller. So here. Um, let's create the variable const. Uh, let me copy. I mean, date value here. Okay. Date value equal equal to request params. Okay. That date value like so. And after that, uh, instead of um, Hard coded our date. I'm gonna pass it here, date value. Okay, and now let's save. And now I'm gonna go back in Postman to test again. Okay, now we go back in Postman. So we're gonna add uh, our, I mean, uh, parameter, and uh, we're gonna add the same date that we used. That was uh, 2022 0402. Okay. Uh, this one and let's see if we get uh, can get the same result you see 25,221 um, let's send the request as you can see we have the same result and we're gonna check another day to see if everything is working is really working so let's erase that and let's try to add other date this time will be um, May okay, so uh, you see the result and send as you can see another result that means our parameter everything is working fine. Okay, guys, that was it for this lesson. I want to keep it simple, but definitely we could uh, uh, make more complex query with uh, um, aggregation pipeline. Okay, so if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have question, please drop it in the comment section. So the more you like this video, the more it helps with YouTube algorithm. So um, with that being said, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.